marathonjourney.com v4.46 where I use the Jeff Galloway run walk run marathon training method to survive my own clutziness and uh, get a half marathon distance in for a training run. We had uh, 12 miles on the books today and uh, we were supposed to run six and come back and meet my daughter and run with her for six because she only had six on the books. And so we, you know, gonna go out three and come back. And I had the bright idea, well, we'll go out three and a quarter and come back and then run a little longer than six with her and maybe we can get 13 in instead of the 12 that's on the books. A little over two miles into it, uh, on the trail, once again, crashed and burned, took out my knee, took out my uh, palm of my hand. Luckily, once again, squoosh, the squoosh band. Now, you people who have it in your palm, it would help a little bit better. I wear it around my wrist, and uh, that's what holds my gym boss on. And that way I can wipe my forehead that way. I don't like things in my hand, but the squoosh band saved a majority of my palm once again. So uh, this is number three that has uh, saved me from uh, more damage than uh, would have happened had I not had that squoosh band on. So, you know, you think it's just for wiping sweat. It's, a, it's like wearing a helmet for your wrist. Once again, the equipment kind of takes a beating. My uh, outdoor research gloves took the brunt of uh, what happened to my left palm. My squoosh band, though, really helped to make sure that uh, I had some good padding when I landed and saved my palm from a worse fate. My Karnik uh, arm sleeves also kind of took a beating. So uh, we got pretty chewed up and uh, I figured, well, if, if I get three in, I'm, I'm going to be lucky going out. And lo and behold, the phone rang, and it was my daughter, and she had some knee problems, so she wasn't going to be running. So we just said, all right, well, it's going to be 13.1, or until I fall apart or my knee seizes up. And uh, we got in 13.13 miles today. A pretty good run, but hot. Oh, my word. 74 degrees at the start in the dark. And it's about 85 here at the finish. So it's just a whole bunch of heat and discomfort. So not exactly the kind of run that uh, I would like to have, but we did it anyway. Tell me again why we run trails. They're very dangerous. Although we've seen a a couple of otters, a fox, and a heron so far out on the run. I took my knee out, so. Beautiful looking, it feels terrible. Uh, we are testing the GoPro Hero 4 session, and that's what we've been running on. Beautiful lightweight camera, a little less resolution than the Hero uh, 4 Black or even the 3 Plus Black, but it is so small, so lightweight, and uh, we'll be giving a full review later, but uh, here's some magical things you can do with it. You can go from a forward-facing body camera to a handheld camera. Looks a lot like this. Camera in a small selfie stick to a camera in a long selfie stick. Yeah, because you carry these separate little cages, you can pop it into different locations uh, very easily, and that's what makes it a great tool for running out on the road. Anyway, got to go do some wound assessment and then uh, some treatment, and then we'll see when we'll be able to get back out on the road. I have a video shoot on Monday where I'm supposed to be running with my daughter and my wife uh, for a promotional video, and now I've got like blood all over the place, so I'll have to see how bad I'm gonna look in, in that video. It might look like I'm either a warrior or a complete klutz. 
you never know. You never know what you'll be able to do unless you open up that door, put one foot in front of the other. And if you do that, I'll be seeing you out here on the road. Thank you.